So welcome everyone. Uh, thank you for joining in. Uh, first of all, I would like to wish you a happy new year. As we started a new year this week. And I want to appreciate, um, take a moment to appreciate you guys uh, for being with us, following us uh, from the guys that are newcomers, only know about XP now, and the guys that have been following us for a few years now. Uh, we really appreciate you guys. Um, and yeah, in that note, uh, let's dive into it. So today we have uh, XP Networks uh, co-founder, CDO, and lead engineer, Ruby. Uh, this is the guy that's been working hard behind the scenes, around the clock for the past three years, uh, working all the technical aspects of the company and the bridge. Um, so Ruby, thank you for joining in uh, and taking a break from all the zeros at once uh, to join us today. Yeah, yeah, sure, Michael. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's always uh, it's always good to come out and speak to the to the community to share what are my thoughts you know, and uh, what's going on. Definitely, it's been a while since we uh, last uh, did this kind of thing. So uh, let's just jump right into it. Uh, first of all, if you guys from the community have any questions, feel free to leave it in the community chat. And at the end of the session, uh, we'll go through them and give you guys some answers. So let's start with the first question. So Ruby, uh, 2023 is behind us. What do you make of it? Like, let's do maybe like a short recap of what we accomplished. Uh, what we worked on during 2023 from a technical perspective, of course. Yeah, sure. In XP Network, we try to make, you know, the best of every month, every year. Uh, so making it short will be kind of hard, but I'll give you like uh, small highlights, right? The bridge, we used to have a thing called white listing, right? Uh, it was uh, quite a long time now, but uh, basically it means that we needed to approve every every smart contract right that went through through the bridge because smart contracts right they can uh, have malicious malicious uh, code in them right they, they can be dangerous they can be they can be they can be malicious right to to the bridge so uh, this year the the team found a way to eliminate this issue right we eliminated that limitation right increased security also by doing that We've uh, added uh, auto deployment of smart contracts in target chains. When you we, we used to to need to do that uh, manually, right? When you send an NFT to a new chain, you need a smart contract in the target chain for this specific NFT. So this process used to be manual, and now we've made it uh, this year. We've made it automatic, right? We've also improved our non-EVM capabilities. We've added a few non-EVM chains, which is always a hard thing because you encounter new languages, new security issues, uh, new, uh, new, you know, new, new standards of NFTs. So you need to, to find a way to, to connect between them. And we've also upgraded all the validators to uh, version three, which uh, basically encapsulates everything that I've just said in the validator code. So th this is uh, my short recap of 2023. Okay, and it's worth to mention that uh, basically the upgrade that we did for the bridge for the version 3.1 uh, that includes the auto deployment and auto white list uh, basically releases a, a huge bottleneck that we, uh, that we found that is happening uh, because now projects uh, are not dependent on us to actually manually white list and uh, deploy their contracts. They can do it on their own, um, and that makes the bridge much more uh, scalable. Uh, exactly. Yes. All right. Now let's ask you another question. What did you find uh, the most uh, pleasing achievement we've done in 2023? I think the most pleasing moment I've had was uh, was when we finished working on Ton, because it was very very. Uh, all of our new innovations happened while we were working on Tone, right? So while simultaneously adding things to, 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 EV, to the EVM side, right, where most, most of the chains are, we were also adding it to Tone side. So there was a lot of back and forth with their team. 
So when we finally, you know, got to a point where, you know, white listing was off and uh, auto deployment was off and everything was was ready and uh, just you know finishing tone. This is what this is to me was the most pleasing moment of this year. Right. Sounds good. Now uh, on that note, what what did you like? Um, like, what was the most enjoyable thing for you uh, to work on? The most in- enjoyable thing. I think, uh, you know, overseeing the UI, the UI is always enjoyable uh, to me because you basically, you, you know, you see when you're working on the smart contracts and on the back end, you, you don't see, see the things that you work on, right? It's, uh, it's all uh, in, the, in the CLI, right? In the command line. So when it comes to, to so the UI brings it to life, right? It's, it's, it's the most simple part of XP Network, the UI itself, although the UI is quite complicated, but... Technically, it's the most simple part in XP Network. Uh, that's the most pleasing part, you know, seeing the UI and everything coming uh, together when I can just come in there, you know, connect my wallet and, uh, and start transferring the NFTs, you know, what we've been working on. This is the most pleasing moment for me. All right. Uh, thank you for that. Now, let's say that you can cha- change something. What would it be? If I could change something. Mm-hmm. Well, looking back at it, I would, uh, I mean, the, the way we discovered uh, the non-white listing to, to eliminate white listing, you know, it's, it's something that uh, c- could have only happened by, uh, you know, by, uh, by working on the product, right? It's, uh, it was a very, very simple but hard uh, solution to implement. So I would, I would have liked to, to, have, to have thought about it uh, two years ago, mm-hmm. about the, the solution. Which was uh, it's, it was impossible, right? But uh, this is this is something I would like yeah, to change. Yeah, it, it's part of the natural process of you know developing a product from scratch, and especially something that was not implemented anywhere else like this. Uh, you know, it, it's part of the learning process, it's a learning curve for for exactly. everyone. Exactly, definitely. Uh, now let's share some uh, some thoughts about. Uh, you know, us moving forward in terms of the development side, technical side. Um, what are the plans for uh, 2024? Right. So like like 2023, uh, 2024 is going to be very busy. You know, the market's coming up. Everything is looking positive. Uh, we're going to add many new blockchains, right? We're currently working also on making a decentralized version of the bridge, a fully decentralized version, right? So so our community members could just come in and pick up and become validators of the bridge, right? What we're also uh, looking into finally re- uh, releasing is the cross-chain staking campaign with Algorand, right? This is also something that we are looking forward to and that uh, we are hoping to see coming this year. All right. It's a very exciting year. It's going to be... Like we yeah. have tons of work to do. So... Yeah. 2024 uh, yeah. is looking uh, very promising with the market and everything. Definitely, and it's very interesting to see where the market leads, and you know, uh, to see the narrative change uh, from from twenty twenty three to be a good thing. Yeah, I agree. All right. On that note, uh, guys from the community uh, are watching us, uh, don't forget to follow our socials. Also, uh, visit our YouTube channel where we have a whole playlist of. XP Talk sessions that we did in the past year or so uh, with all our partners and also some internal discussions. Um, something that if you haven't checked it yet, uh, you should. This session is also going to be recorded and uploaded to our YouTube channel. So anyone who is not here, uh, in case you missed it, you will always be able to watch it again. And yeah, um, so. Uh, what can you tell us about the decentralization app? Uh, we are now, uh, for a few weeks now, we are releasing some updates, like incremental updates about the decentralization side. Um, what can you tell us about the overall update and how it will affect the bridge? Yeah, right. The yeah. bridge won't be affected, right? What, uh, what we're working on right now for the last, I think, six to eight months is uh, creating a decentralized version of the bridge, right? Currently, the bridge is like in a semi-centralized version uh, where we choose the validators. Now, what we want to happen is that any community member 
can just come in and download the the validator code and just very very easily you know in a few steps become an xpnet an xp network bridge validator uh, we're we're currently moving in huge huge steps right we're adding every chain to this decentralized solution and uh, we're making sure everything is secure like we do always right our number one priority of XP Network is the security. It's always has been and always will be the security of the assets that we are holding, right? So becoming decentralized is something that there is a lot of caution that needs to be taken uh, when you play in that playground, right? So we're working very, very hard and are auditing the code, right? Taking it very, very slow, very, very secure. But we're making sure to move fast as well, right? Because we, you can take it slow; it, it will take eternity, right? To release, uh, to release anything. So, I'm hoping to see very, very soon a decentralized XP network bridge where our community members can just come in and become validators and validate the the, the, the transaction, take governance votes, and everything in a in a decentralized way. Definitely. I'm, I'm also waiting to see it happens and it's going to be a huge bump and a new version of the bridge that I'm very excited for. It's something that we've actually uh, been planning and working on for quite a while now. Uh, if you also, Michael, if you like, if you look at where we came from, you know, in the version one of the bridge when we started, uh, when we were bridging NFTs from, uh, from the Polkadot, you know, from the substrate chains to Elrond, and to the solutions we are looking to offer to the market right now, it's it's uh, it's insane uh, the the amount of uh, of work that was put in and the amount of uh, like the amount of, of of quality this product has. Right? It's like uh, I I don't know how to compare it to, to things, but uh, to real life things. But it's like from bicycle to to electric cars, right? To planes, it's like insane. Huge, huge advancement and upgrade. Yeah. All right. That gets me very excited for 2024 and, you know, looking at our roadmap and everything that we discussed, uh, we have a lot of work to do and yeah, we're going to continue pushing this forward uh, to deliver you guys uh, all the goods and all the upgrades that are needed for this uh, work. On that note, do you have anything else you want to add while we're uh, finishing up, Ruby? Uh, no, this is uh, this is pretty much uh, everything from the from the technical side, right? All right, guys. If you are um, thinking of any technical questions or anything related, feel free to leave it in the chat, and I will make sure to uh, tag you guys with an answer. I would like to thank everyone that showed up. This uh, short session, and uh, please note it's going to be recorded and uploaded, so everyone can uh, rewatch it and hear it again. So thank you guys for coming. Thank you, Ruby, for for taking the time and coming in for the talk to the community. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the in the next round. Bye, bye, guys. Thank bye. you. Thank you. Bye, bye.